This is my life. Do I look proud? This is how we are treated. It's how we look. How we present ourselves. You know, I look okay. But even me, I feel I look poor. We have to steal sometimes. We have to take from others. We have to... Because we're hungry, you know? Because we have to eat. And I'm embarrassed. But fuck. How the fuck can I live in a country where the fucking people make the rules, break the fucking rules? Man, can I live on bread alone? Look at my windowsill. Man cannot live on bread alone. Take a look at my house. I got fucking rats that come in underneath my door. My sister lives in the fucking top posh city of Montreal. Yeah. I hope she sees this. He wants 400 and... $50 every month. This is what I pay for this square. Well, how the fuck does that make any sense? $450. I beat fucking girls down less for that. I fucking snagged the guy. I fucking... I'm not gonna tell you a lie. I fucking cut him. You don't fucking touch my sister for that kind of money. You live here? I live uh, two blocks from here. You don't live in my neighborhood, bro. If you fucking live here, I know you. I know everyone who lives in this fucking neighborhood. Every guy from who sells cigarettes, to who sells ass, to bitches who sell pussy for 50 cents, to fucking anything they can get. And you know what? The problem is money. The value of a dollar, okay? You have to understand this. If a guy, remember when we were young, when we used to pay 50 cents for San Samillion? Well, well, I live on 36 Water Street, and it's, it's but three blocks from this block? 36 Water Street. Who the fuck lives on 30? You know how much it costs to live there? You know when you smoke San Samillion pot? You ever? 50 cents. I remember it when I was a young guy, okay? I'm from Montreal. So I know about the hashes. Because I can tell you about the bikers. I can tell you about fucking Perry Winkle, Michael French. Is that taking San Samillion pot and they're changing it for one dollar? You understand mm -hmm. what's happening? We just fucking swallow a little bit of half ish. You know, maybe, uh, maybe an ounce and a half a day, two ounces a day. Now they're compressing and compacting. Then it's not even cents a million anymore. Now it's fucking, I don't know what the fuck it is. We just fucking swallow a little bit of half. As far as I'm concerned, that's fucking a little bit. Get rid of the bad guys, the guys that are doing the harm on the street. That Mexican. But that's what they do here. They take everything. They take heroin, they take M3, they take pills, they take drugs, and they make it the biggest market possible. I got fucking weed. I always smoke weed. I don't leave home without weed. Little weed, a little beer, and I don't so get in anyone's ear. But that's me. My neighbor, sometimes they up until four o'clock, they bob in, weave in, you know, doing fucking Smoking crack, cocaine, yeah. crack cocaine all fucking night long. Sometimes I don't get to sleep until four o'clock, you know? What the fuck am I supposed to do? This is where I live. This is my home. Mm. I get mad at it. I'm frustrated with it. Half of the girls I won't sleep with. How do you fucking correct this? This is incorrect. Yeah. You can live here? <laughs> Dang, come on. You're from Korea, Korea, and you can live here? Uh, Say the truth. No. no. Me too. I'm from Canada, and I cannot live here. Soon I'm going to go. I'm going to go back home. I don't know how. I talked to my family. I called them. I said, Mom, I want to go home. Auntie, you know, I cannot live here anymore. And they look at me and they say, oh. Mike, you're tough. Yeah, I'm tough. I'm a soldier. 